Hi friends, our next live session is called, it's a very interesting topic, it's called speaker identification using audio, right? It's a very interesting topic. This is also one of the case studies that some of our students have tried and have done very well at it, right? So this live session is on 8th March, which is a coming Sunday at 10 a.m. We'll most likely finish it in a couple of hours, but if you need more time, we might extend it. And this live session is accessible to all of our registered students via the desktop app, right? So again, you might wonder, what is this problem all about, right? So all of you may have seen a Google Home like this. Now, what is a Google Home? A Google Home or an Amazon Alexa is a smart speaker that can respond to your audio commands. Now, especially Google Home, if you've ever used it, you can ask it to only respond if a specific set of people give commands. So it can recognize the speakers and it would only respond if, it's, if, if, if let's say in the home there are four people. It will only respond if these four speakers speak to it. It will not respond if others speak to it, which is a very, very good feature to have. Now what we'll do as part of this task here is, as part of this live session is, we'll try to build a couple of systems, one fairly simple, one slightly more complicated, but not too complicated where we'll try to identify users using their audio, right? And again, this problem in, in, in speech processing, even in deep learning, this problem is sometimes referred to as the speaker diarization rhization problem, where you're trying to distinguish between one speaker and other speaker. The most important aspect about this problem is you have very little data to operate with. You can't go to a speakers and say, oh, speak for one hour. Only then I'll be able to recognize you versus someone else. And again, this speaker identification is also very useful for giving personalized answers, right? The questions that I ask could be very different from what my son might ask, could be very different from what my spouse might ask, right? So it's very important for Google to be able to distinguish these users, but the, the real world challenge here is we have few samples of audio. You have very few seconds, oftentimes less than a minute of audio per user. So you have very little data and you have to operate with this data. That's the fun problem here. And we know that for most state-of-the-art audio processing systems, today we use some form of deep learning. Now there are two approaches that we'll try to discuss in this live session as, in, as, as time permits. Again, if we cannot complete everything in a two hour live session, we can do one more live session just covering whatever we could not in this live session, right? So again, so the first approach that we will take is we will convert the audio into a diagram or into a picture called a spectrogram. Again, I'll explain you how we do it step by step. Again, this is a simpler approach. Given an audio signal, like speech, we can convert it into a diagram called a spectrogram that you see here. This diagram that you see here is called as a spectrogram, right? Now, once you have image data, we all have studied about convolutional neural networks, right? In our course videos, we have a chapter called convolutional neural networks, where we learn about everything from AlexNet, to uh, ResNets. And very importantly, one of the very important aspects of convolution neural networks is transfer learning. When I have small amounts of data, I can use pre-trained models and leverage their architecture, their pre-trained weights to perform well on my tasks. So what we'll do now as part of this, because we have very little data to operate with. So we will employ the transfer learning process to be able to do speaker identification with few samples of data. And of course, we will use pre-trained models. Again, I strongly recommend before this live session, you please go through the CNN chapter that we have, especially the transfer learning concepts, so that you can understand this live session much better. Please, if you have studied this earlier, please revise and come to the live session. Again, we'll discuss about the mathematics, the intuition, how to solve this problem with some sample code also. So this is the first approach. We'll try to spend about an hour trying to, trying to pose the problem trying to understand how audio is converted to images, uh, which are mostly used like spectrograms, and how we can use transfer learning for this task. That's the first thing. The second approach we take is a slightly more intricate thing. So within deep learning, there is a whole idea called as few short learning. Now what is few short learning? Few short learning basically means given just few data points or few chances to learn, can I build a deep learning system which can just learn with, let's say, five points. Okay, so this there is there's something called as one-shot learning, zero-shot learning, and a few-shot learning. 
the problem that we are trying to solve falls under the few short learning, wherein you just have few data points or few shots at learning, the learning to discriminate or trying to, uh, trying to identify one user and separate one user's audio from other user's audio, right? So we we'll learn about a whole area called as few shot learning. And to do that, there are multiple deep learning algorithms for it. What we'll do is we'll learn one of the simplest algorithms to perform few shot learning called as Siamese networks. It's a very ingenious idea, very cool idea. This is extremely useful when you have small amounts of data set. When you want to perform, when you want to train a deep neural network type model, when you just have few data points to work with, right? So CMEs networks is a slightly older concept. It's almost like four or five years old, but it's a very simple, very easy to understand, gives very good results. Of course, there are more advanced techniques that we could cover in future live sessions, right? Now, of course, even for CMEs networks, we'll, I'll give you some code snippets that you can work with. So looking forward to having all of you in this live session. Most importantly, please do revise your concepts of convolutional neural networks, especially transfer learning. That's very, very important. See you this coming Sunday at 10 in the morning.